Okay, so here's the plan. We're going to see if we can get a line up in this tree. Uh, now, normally I would just go, you know, one side, throw something over, <coughs> and then, you know, go the other side. But at this point, I think I'm going to climb up this thing. Um, I don't know, it's about 30 feet up, I suppose. See how high I can get up into the guts up in here and um, see whether I can just, uh, you know, feed it around a, a branch up there because I'd like it to be fairly solid. Um, so I'm just making something that I can throw. This is just a, a pin from a trailer hitch, if you can see that. Just do a quick hitch here. Now, because I realised some of my cable, some of the, sorry, some of the rope that I've been using wasn't really fit for purpose, um, this is the rope that I was using here, it was just some, I don't know, just some shit. Um, it, it resembles uh, 550, but it's certainly far from, uh, and you can see it's all stripped and broken and uh, it's all coming apart. So, I went to Bunnings uh, and grabbed some of this stuff, uh, th again this is meant to mimic um, paracord again by the look of it and now it says it's strong as durable abrasion resistant um, now I thought I did see that it was also rot resistant okay here we go on the other side uh, 100 kilo uh, yeah obviously the the breaking strength's not really important um, camouflage you know that's not a bad thing you can see the color over here it's brown sort of a flick uh, resistant to rot mildew petrol and oil uh, suitable for outdoor use so it's only three mil it's nice and light um, you know, it doesn't be, need to be too heavy duty obviously for holding up antennas uh, and uh, so we're all good there so hopefully uh, this might last a little bit longer uh, than the other stuff um, all right so what we're going to do is probably just going to throw this out get a bit of length on it so I can climb up with it and uh, hopefully, oh no, he's stepped in dog shit there. Uh, put it in my pocket and take it up with us and uh, see how we go. Need to put the car keys down and hopefully you can see that sky and how dark that is. Um, that's looking pretty average, but anyway, let's see how we go. <coughs> Shoelaces. That'll do. Alright, here we go. Alright, that's not a good start. It's uh, slippery than I thought it was. We'll be right. I didn't have my foot in there properly, so uh, try that again. We'll get hold of that. Three points of contact always. But, uh, as I said, it has been raining this afternoon, so the bike was a little bit slippery than I thought it was going to be. So we'll just be a little bit extra cautious going up here. Um, I'm here on my own, so don't want to have a have a fall over the tree, mess myself up. Yeah, I have to get a bit more heft. There we go. This should be more than enough. We can cut that off. Nice scrape there, and never scrape there from the tree. So, what our lesson there? So, for the uh, proof of concept, pretty much just going to uh, go with cable ties. I've used this before. Then hold uh, wire antennas up in the trees. And if this works, we'll go with uh, a bit of PVC or something. So, just need something to insulate the wire. And uh, for the wire to run through fairly easily. Obviously, these aren't going to last long term. So uh, we'll see how we go. In the interest of beating this storm and the rain, not that we're worried about a bit of rain, but I prefer not to be climbing trees uh, <laughs> when uh, the trees are even wetter than they are now. As you, I already fell out of that one. So, well, I don't know if I'd call it falling yet, but uh, close enough. So, it's 60 metres of this stuff, but I'm starting to doubt that. Yeah, obviously you need to be careful of old mate shed next door. I don't think we're climbing that. It's uh, not real strong. Anyway, I always manage to pick up shit when you do this. Couldn't try not like that if you tried. Anyway, that's how we go. Straight over the guts, I think would be lovely. Oh, 
Gosh, I don't want this to swing and hit the window of the car either. Uh, straight through the middle. Please, no. Try that again, eh? Right, that's where we want to go. The technique is, you've got enough weight on it, just flick the wire and you'll see that, sorry, flick the rope at this end and you'll see she comes down. There we go. Give us a bit extra to play with. So I don't know how much we're going to need to uh, go that way to avoid the shed. Usually what I do is try and get that in line with that. So if it's got to pass through or anything, Hopefully you can see that if it's got to pass through anything it, it passes through fairly easily rather than getting caught up. And uh, usually regardless of the amount of tension that you've had on this, just pull that line out, untwist, and there you go. Let's get down the back and get into this tree in the corner. Come on bud. In there mate, let's go. Now this one we have to climb again. Uh, really should take up two lots of this because I've got to put up my half wave and I don't have to climb up there twice because we've got to go up pretty high up this one you know I could have almost got a square in there but uh, we'll go with the delta loop anyway uh, let's have a look and see what we've got up here hopefully we'll avoid losing any skin this time oh, I don't know. Disturb the spiders there. I don't know how much of this we've actually got left. There we go again. <clears throat> hey, buddy. <clears throat> Wouldn't mind getting over that little branch there. I don't know if you can see that just there. Just through there would be think okay, okay. Now let's see how we go. Beautiful. That'll do it. And drop her down. I can see that going down to the ground now. I can certainly recommend a bit of indoor climbing. Certainly helps uh, with being able to get up into the trees and the like and make you feel a bit more comfortable climbing around and obviously a bit more safe there as well I suppose with the exception of falling out of that one over there so let's just sort this out another pointer is I don't know how far I'm going to pull out that other end but is always tie off the end that you're going to be uh, I guess uh, you call it your, no, it wouldn't be your tag end uh, anyway always tie off the end that uh, the opposite end of where you're going to be pulling through because you don't want it to let go and go up through the tree and pop out and have to go and do it all again so just uh, I don't know, put a stick on it hook it into a branch tie it into something so it doesn't go anywhere there we go that's exactly what we want spider there we're worried about those spiders, we still want to disturb them if we don't have to. Let them do their thing. I have to start thinking about a feed point. So I think it's going to be this here. So uh, we'll see how we go. Be keen to try this delta loop, I haven't tried one before. It's part of field day, trying something new, something different. But, uh, I was looking forward to doing an 80 metre loop. But, uh, I don't quite have the uh, have the room here for that for a full wave. I reckon we can get away with 40. Start getting some wire up in the air. The reason I'm trying to get this done tonight is because I you know, wouldn't mind doing a bit of testing. Uh, that would have been the plan if we were up at um, up camping. So that's our 10 metres there. And 
might be lucky to get 30 actually. 40 would be just lovely though. Now that's just teasing that is, we're probably about a couple of metres short. Okay.